Jesus. Please tell me why I'm not trying frightening. I honestly didn't, did not see you guys there. Somebody yet ever asked the time. Either tell them skin past flesh going down to bones back in high school. But for me, whew, early up in the year, I was just legit skin and bones. And I just want to tell you about it after the intro. If you are new, welcome to my lifestyle channel, Journey with Noel, where we do DIY projects, talk about health, wealth, fitness, and foods. Of course, my name is Noel, but you know, we are friends, we are family. You can call me Wissy. I wouldn't say I always had a weight issue because it's not like <laughs> I'm a 300 pound woman or I was a 300 pound woman. Well, half of that. I weighed near 160 pounds at one time. But that was too much because obviously, as you can see, I'm a bit vertically challenged. I'm, I'm near a midget, like, like, I'm all the way down there. And I wanted to carry you guys through my 90 days transformation where I went through hell, legit hell, and back. I'm going to bring up some photographs on the screen and approach with caution. Now let's fast forward to 2020 where I got the most terrible news ever we are here that i lost a dear friend to me honestly this person is closer to me than all of my sisters <laughs> so i would consider her a sister to me and when i heard that she passed away i was shattered i was torn this was taken in march of 2020 This deserves a scoop of porridge. This is in March, and honestly, I can confidently and accurately say I weighed a hundred and nothing pounds in this photograph. I mean, let's skip to the next one, right? At least you can still see that I shape real nice. Boobies gone, butts went like it just got inflated. You know, stick a needle in a balloon and just pop. August, I went on vacation. De stress and try to get myself back. I mean, it goes way deeper than that, but that's for another video. I wrote a meal plan, I wrote a workout plan for myself, and I went to work. Alright, so I want you to head down into the comment section and tell me whether you're on vacation, yes or no. What is the type of workout that you do to keep that body, you know, in shape? In September, I decided I'm going to seek some help from Direct Fitness. That's Esther. You can check her out on IG, Direct Fitness. She is really good. She wrote a program for me, asked me what I ate and told us, hey, just give me anything grass and I'm good. <laughs> So I gave her a list of foods that I eat and I decided that I am going to double it up because I must put this weight back on. And I weighed 170 in September. I sent her the front shots, the side shots, of course the back shots, another side shot. And you know, I like to, you know, do that, you know, kind of off at an angle, kind of shot. In October 11, I sent her some pics again. By this time I weigh like maybe 120 pounds. And I see where I was coming on. Something happened October 25th. I did another set of pictures. Cool. And she asked me the strangest question. That Esther. Very strange girl, but good. She asked me if I was wearing like a padded bra. I'm like, hell no. I don't want to. If I buy a brazier and it has the little pad thingies in it, I take them home and I like it. So, I didn't want to send my pictures initially because I said, yo, box set. No changes, no harm. Nothing now going to me. Now I said it and she said, send the pictures so that I can see how to adjust your program. You know, whether for the workouts or for the meals. Anyway, I sent it. And she sent me like a, a comparison photo. And she said, look at the boobies. She said, girl, I'll get breasts. I'm like, oh, please. But when I actually zoomed in and looked at it, I'm like, huh, ah, 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 should I go with a small thing there? Yeah. 
<laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I was not as consistent as I should be because of work. Let me blame work. And sometimes I just didn't have the drive, but it's that discipline. That discipline that I have to just do something even when I didn't reach to the gym. I use my bedside and I do something, you know. While I start work before I go to my bed. Ugh. That 30 days vacation time, I I I built my own concrete weights and I went hard. I I deadlift, I do some workout from this guy on YouTube named Bully Juice. He is amazing. Check him out as well. But when I went to the doctor in November and I stepped on that scale. Whew, I swear. Jesus here on the screen. 130 pounds. Come closer. Proud. Oh, me look for my back and I say, yo, we are cold. I have a far away to go, but I say, Jesus, look, look, look at that. Alright, tell me your seat. Yeah, I took some pics December 6th, but I don't think it's appropriate to show. I mean, mm. Whew, Jesus, I'm not even ready for this yet. You want to see it? Let me show you. Don't judge me. Jesus Christ. Mm. I swear I'm going to do it myself. Jesus. Oh, what a girl skin. Oh. Mm. Mm. Jesus. All right, so this is my 21st. I took some pics again. Please, I'm telling for now. Never ever take progress photograph immediately after I want to eat. It don't work. I want to barely go out there on the side. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, em so embarrassing. That side flap, all them. It just not look good. Do it first thing in the morning after I want to do it. After I want the Lulu day 90 which was december 20 Shit. saturday i did what 26 yes december 26 was 90 out of 90 for me coming from that picture that i showed you from march all the way to now you can tell us how god saved me some sp this need this right one another Somebody tell me, say, I look after the best words porridge, you know. Mother, eat. Angel, don't come for me, please. One day, one day, do not come for me. I'll make some for you one day. I took my, to my final set of um, progression photographs for day, for day 90. I'm happy with the progress. I'm going to restart her 90 day program again. 90 days at a time, 90 days at a time until the year done. Is it 2021 December when we are do this again? <laughs> girl supposed to. Girl supposed to. Girl supposed to. <laughs> On a serious note, you see, mental health. A lot of people take it for granted that um, people are seeking attention or people just want to be seen. No, it is no joke. It's a real thing. You see, depression, stress anxiety i've experienced all three and then some and as an say seek help where is necessary find things that can help you to pull you out for me it's the gym eating experimenting youtubing so find something that can help you you know take you out of the rabbit hole before you go all the way in because once <laughs> once you reach at the bottom and up health will come back up so take care of yourself, take care of your health, take care of your fitness. I know a lot of people want to lose weight, want to lose weight. For me, I want to gain at least mm, 10 to 15 more pounds that I want to gain. So, we chat too much now. So here we go. On. I know that a lot of us wants to start working out. But for some strange reason, we keep on putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Oh, we're going to do it next year. January 2021 is the year. Why not just do it now? Why not start today just because today is a Monday? I mark you and I have a very, 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 very long way to go. But at least I've started, you know, 
I have a foundation that I need to build and I'm not yet fit, but I will work really hard to get there and I think you should too. It's your body. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like, share, comment, subscribe, massage that bell icon so that you never miss an upload from me. And to all my warriors out there, Godspeed. Bye.